everyone, my name is Alyssa. I am in my fourth year of the Math and Business Double Degree Program, and I'm actually the also uh, also the captain of the Quidditch team. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Michael Liu. I'm the director and advisor for the IT management program. I regularly teaches, um, teach CS courses and uh, commerce courses, so you might see me in class as well. Uh, I'm glad to meet you today and answer your questions. Awesome. So then I guess we can get started. Um, so I don't actually really know much about the ITM program. I think it's it started while I was in university, so I never really got to learn about it. So do you think you can describe to me what is ITM all about? Yeah, the ITM program studies mathematics, computer science, as well as business. And it trains students to effectively utilize computing assets within the organization to enhance business performance. Okay, I like that it kind of combines it all. That's pretty cool. Um, but uh, is there anything that you wish students would know before choosing ITM as a major? And I guess maybe after that, what is the sort of process of switching into or um, declaring it as your program? I don't really know much about it. Um, so I guess two questions. Okay, yeah. Uh, first, I think not just choosing ITM program, but choosing any program, before you choosing any program, uh, you need to really think how, what is your interest? Because uh, I believe that commitment and interest are the driving force for success. So you need to think how, whether they like business, whether you like business, math and computer science. Okay, yeah, that's probably pretty important. <laughs> Um, and then, so I guess when I'm choosing ITM or realize that I have an interest for all of these things, if I'm, if I was enrolled in mathematics, like in my first year, what's the process of actually switching into ITM or declaring it as my major? Yeah, the best time to switch to ITM is uh, at the end of 2B, after you finish 10 courses, and hopefully some of them would be CS courses and some of them will be business courses because it's, you know, ITM, management and technology. So you, you want to be comfortable with those two subjects. And then mm -hmm. um, you need to have an average between, I would say 65 and 70. If you are, you know, above 70, it's guaranteed you'll be accepted. But between 65 and, and 70, we'll look at it case by case. Just want to make sure students are doing well at business as well as, as CS courses. And then if you are qualified, you can uh, fill out a plan modification form and email to me and then you are good to go. Perfect. That doesn't sound too bad. Um, so I guess in a more broader sense, uh, what do you what do you love about sort of ITM and this field of discipline and, and what sort of excites you about it? Well, technology is it, is an essential part of any organization, right? Because of the pandemic, the demand for e-business uh, e solution is greater than ever. And, and the emergence of AI and big data will definitely carry this trend post you know, COVID-19. So I think the future for IT management is bright. That's a really good point. And I guess it segues pretty nicely into my next question, which is, what are the types of careers that I can pursue with, with this major? Yeah, ITM offers students a variety of options in terms of their career. Some of them include uh, project managers, uh, e-business e consultant, uh, e-commerce developer, database administrator, and, and, and system analyst, and of course, grad school as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've been hearing a lot about grad school as I've been uh, going through my, nearing the end of my years, and it's, it's a little bit scary to me, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a good, uh, it's definitely one not to forget about. Um, so my last question for you is, um, how is ITM different from farm and math business? ITM is about the integration of technology and management and how to improve business performance through the use of computing technology. And farm is more about finance investment and map based uh, studies and business operations in general. Thank you for sitting down with me and virtually to have this conversation. <laughs> uh, glad to meet you and yeah, yeah, same here.